I've often said that I have the best job in the world because I get to interview and learn from leaders and innovators in the sewing and quilting world. And I'd like you to meet Lola Jenkins, a real innovator in quilting. Thank you. Welcome to our interview and to Sewing with Nancy Lola. And you haven't been quilting or sewing all that long. No, I haven't. I started in 2004. Mm -hmm. And uh, I made a few pieces between 2004 and 2007. But in 2007, I got serious. And serious. I decided I was going to make me a trunk show and go on the road. And your first example that we're going to share with you is called Back in the Day. Yes, it is. Uh, Back in the Day was inspired, uh, thinking about my grandmother and how she used to walk to market. So that's how I came up with it. And I didn't have very much money. And I was using a lot of scraps. So it, it was a scrappy quilt. It's vibrant, and you can just see a market flurry going on in that quilt. Yes, you can. It's spectacular, and to think that you used it from scraps, I'm, I'm totally impressed. Well, thank you. The next quilt we're going to look at is called Many Faces. Yes. And this is a self-portrait of sorts. Well, kind of. Um, I was thinking, I had went to a funeral, and I was listening to uh, the different people talk about a certain person who had expired. Mm -hmm. And I was thinking how people know sure. people in a different way. And so I said, many faces. And how we put on different faces for different people. We sure do. All yes. of us do the yes, same we thing. Do. We let them see different parts of our personality. And, and I love your use of color. Well, thank you. That you have the chocolate cover color represents your... It, it represents uh, my background. Mm -hmm, sure. And so that's what I was thinking about. And then explain the color green. The color green is about money. And it's not about all, making money, but it's about making money to receive in order to be able to give. So you have to be a giver in order sure. for money to come your way. And then you're also featured in blue. Yes, I am featured in blue. And the blue is about just thinking about looking at the sky and, and, and different things, mm -hmm. trying to get some tranquility. Tranquility in your life, and you have uh, purple. I do have purple. And purple is it's the color in order for to show uh, a crown or to show royalty. And so that's what that was there for. We, we all have those in our lives. We do, and we have a little <laughs> hot pink, too. <laughs> yeah, we do have some hot pink. <laughs> The, the, quilts that, the quilt that we're holding, I'm, I'm sure almost everyone will be able to identify. And this is a study in value. Well, thank you. Wow, I am totally impressed with the color purple. Yes, this is a Miss Seeley mm -hmm. from the Color Purple movie. And I just thought I would do a play on words. And since it's the Color Purple movie, I figured I will do it in purple. But still, you were able to capture with light, mediums, and darks, and all the tones in between that it reads like an Andy Warhol picture with the different colorations. Phenomenal. But thank you very much. And the background with your landscape effect, with this imposed upon it, it's very smart. Well, thank you very much. The last quilt we're going to share with our viewers is another inspirational quilt, and not only is the coloration, but the stippling. Your execution is, is great. <laughs> well, thank you. Malcolm X. This is Malcolm X, and I wanted to, he was a very complicated guy, a lot misunderstood. So I wanted to do him in a multitude of colors because he showed a multitude of personality over the years. It, it, in the quilting of the stippling of circles and feathers and paisley, uh, it does make him look complicated. He was. Yes, and so you've, you've expressed that through your stitching and use of fabrics. But thank you. That's exactly what I was trying to do. Well, Lola, you are an impressive quilter, a great thank person you. to know. Thank and you. And I know our viewers will enjoy this technique and learning from you in the future. Thanks for being my guest. Thank you. You're welcome.